How to publish a research article. Step B step guide. How to publish a research article. Many young researchers are asking the following questions regarding their research. Number one question is, how to publish research papers? Number two question is, where to publish research paper? We will help by using simple and efficient steps. Research paper publication steps. Number one step is select a research article topic. Selecting a research topic for your paper may include selecting a topic that you are interested in. You can narrow your topic to something manageable. Discuss your research ideas with your supervisor. Number two step is publish your article in an international journal. Most universities ask their PhD and master's students to publish papers in international journals as a requirement for their graduation. Research publishing in journals is more recognizable and preferable by the academic community than articles publication in international conferences. Number three step is to publish research in any field. Research chapters should be prepared according to the following structure. Affiliation, which contains all the author's place of work or school then the corresponding author's email. Abstract the abstract in any scientific research publication should brief and straightforward. The abstract must emphasize the key findings of the work and its general significance. The abstract should convey the purpose of the project identifying the area of study to which it belongs, the research problem that motivates the project, the methods used to address this research problem, the conclusions reached, the significance of the research project, and why are the results useful in summary abstract contain background of the study, aim, sample collection, methods, result and conclusion. Keywords a list not exceeding four to six words. It can be selected from the title. This should be chosen carefully to reflect the precise content of the paper. Introduction talk about the relevant primary research literature with citations, and summarize your current understanding of the research article problem you are presenting. Talk about the organisms studied such as plant, animal, human, etc. You have to also state the purpose of your work in the form of the hypothesis, question, or problem. Finally, you have to briefly explain your approach in solving the problem of the research. Materials and methods. You explain clearly how you carried out your study and the pre-experiment handling and care and when and where the study was carried out. If you did a field study, provide a description of the study site such as significant physical and biological features and the precise location, latitude and longitude, map, etc. Talk about the experimental OR sampling design such as how the experiment or study was structured and protocols. You should mention in details how the data were analyzed, qualitative analyses and statistical procedures used to find significance, data transformations used, what probability was used to decide significance, etc. Results state the results using tables and figures and draw attention in the text to important details shown in those tables and figures. Discussion point out the significance of the results in relation to the reasons for doing the work. You can place them in context of other related work for other researchers. Compare your findings with other related work online. Conclusion clearly state the implications of the answers your results gave you. The conclusion should focus on what was achieved, what still needs to be improved and should have a link to the title of article references add all the references which was used within your paper as a list at the end of your paper. All citations should be referenced and list should be according to the journal citation style format either alphabetical order or following the numbering in the text. Now you are ready to publish research article. Number four step is tips for getting published. 
you have to find time and secure funding to do your research. You need to prepare the ground for your topic by reading a lot of related researches and attending conferences. Send your paper to the correct journal. When you send your paper to wrong journal it will be rejected. Try to answer the following question before submitting your paper. Does your research fit the journal's aims and scope? Ask a colleague to check your work. Always follow the correct submissions procedures. Read the manuscript submission guidelines. Most journals have manuscript submission guidelines for authors. Make every possible effort to improve the quality of the manuscript before submission. Be careful when you write your abstract. The editor and the reviewers will read your abstract first. If they did not find it interesting, and contains original contribution they will reject your paper. Your abstract should be clear. Say something new within your abstract. If you get negative recommendations about your paper, you can respond to the comments, and explain your point of view. If you see that those comments are not fair or the reviewers did conclude something not fair regarding your contributions. But be careful. You have to be scientific and polite. If your paper is rejected, do not give up. Make use of the reviewers' comments, find a good mentor, you may consider joint authorship, and submit your paper to other journals. Number five step is research ethics. The following general principles are intended to guide and inspire researchers toward the very highest ethical ideals when writing a research article is fidelity and responsibility. Researchers should be aware of their professional and scientific responsibilities to society and to the specific communities in which they work. Researchers should accept suitable responsibility for their behavior and seek to manage conflicts of interest that could lead to exploitation or harm. Integrity researchers seek to promote accuracy, honesty and truthfulness in the science. Justice fairness and justice entitle all persons to access to and benefit from the contributions of their researchers. Respect for people's rights researchers respect the dignity and worth of all people, and the rights of individuals to privacy, confidentiality, and self-determination. Number six step is prepare your article according to the journal template. Each journal has its own template. It can be downloaded from the journal's site. Number seven step is where to publish your research article. The process of submitting and publishing research articles can be difficult for junior researchers. The following steps are to assist scholars of all stages in submitting and publishing their research in peer-reviewed journals. Step one is based on your research topic. Find related journals. Step 2 is you are going to choose one and only one journal to publish your paper. So rank these potential journals based on the following criteria. Number 1 criteria is journal scope. Number 2 criteria is indexing. Number 3 criteria is review time. Number 4 criteria is publication frequency. Number 5 criteria is journal reputation. Number six criteria is avoid predatory journals. Remember, a rejected paper doesn't necessarily equal a bad paper. Numerous factors, many of them completely out of your control, go into determining which articles are accepted. Move on to your second choice journal for submission. Journal ranking Journal ranking is widely used in academic circles in the evaluation of an academic journal's impact and quality. Journal rankings are intended to reflect the place of a journal within its field, the relative difficulty of being published in that journal, and the prestige associated with it. They have been introduced as official research evaluation tools in several countries. Measures traditionally, Journal ranking measures or evaluations have been provided simply through institutional lists established by academic leaders or through committee vote. Consequently, several journal-level metrics have been proposed, 
most citation based on impact factor reflecting the average number of citations to articles published eigenfactor a rating of the total importance of a scientific journal according to the number of incoming citations with citations from highly ranked journals weighted to make a larger contribution to the eigenfactor than those from poorly ranked journals. SCI MAGO Journal rank a measure of scientific influence of scholarly journals that accounts for both the number of citations received by a journal and the importance or prestige of the journals where such citations come from. H index usually used as a measure of scientific productivity and the scientific impact of an individual scientist, but can also be used to rank journals. The ranking position of each journal is based on the actual publishing behavior of leading tenured academics over an extended time period. As such, the journal's ranking position reflects the frequency at which these scholars published their articles in this journal. Altmetrics rate journals based on scholarly references added to academic social media sites. J Rank Journals Ranking J Rank is the digital portal developed by iMac Technologies Private Limited in 2015, containing list of all international journals indexed in ISIJCR and Scopus SJR based on the current impact factor and quartiles given by Thomson Reuters and Scopus, respectively. The J Rank also gives detailed information about journal, i.e., country of journal publishing, impact factor history frequency of journal publishing, active web link etc. H5 index this metric, calculated and released by Google Scholar, is based on the H index of all articles published in a given journal in the last five years. Selecting the right journal for submission. Familiarize yourself with potential publications. Be aware of the research already published and the current questions and studies in your field. Pay special attention to how other research papers in your field are written. The format, the type of articles, quantitative studies versus qualitative ones, primary research, review of existing papers, the writing style, the subject matter, and the vocabulary. Read academic journals related to your field of study. Search online for published research papers, conference papers, and journal articles. Ask a colleague or professor for a suggested reading list. Select the publication that best suits your research paper. Each publication has its own audience and tone of writing. Decide, for instance, if your research paper would fit better in a journal that is highly technical and meant only for other scholars or a journal that is more general in nature for a broader audience. Keep the circulation or exposure of the journal in mind. Once you've narrowed down your list of potential submission sites, do a little digging to find out how widely read and widely cited articles in those journals seem to be. Greater exposure for your work will be a definite benefit, especially when you're trying to make a name for yourself early in your career. However, always prioritize peer-reviewed journals in which field scholars anonymously review submitted works. This is the basic standard for scholarly publishing. You can increase your readership dramatically by publishing in an open access journal. As such, it will be freely available as part of an online repository of peer-reviewed scholarly papers. How to spot a predatory journals. Number one is always check the website thoroughly. Number two is check if the journal is a member of DOAJ, Directory of Open Access Journals, COPE, Community of Publication Ethics, OASPA or STM. Number three is does the journal have an impact factor? Only journals vetted through the JCR can officially state that they have an impact factor. 
Number 4 is research about the editorial board. Number 5 is check the publisher contact. Number 6 is does the article processing fee clear. Number 7 is take a look at their peer review process and publication timelines. Number 8 is read through past issues of the journal. High quality academic journals take longer to publish articles because they go through a proper peer review and copy editing process. Research article submission and publication process. Submission from manuscript to publications. You can see all steps. First step is screening which is done by editor-in-chief after submission of manuscript. The editor-in-chief will accept or reject the research article. If the research article is rejected then it will return to author. Otherwise if the research article is accepted then the content verification will be started such as plagiarism check if the plagiarism is in range then proceed further otherwise research article will return to author for modification. If the plagiarism is in range then peer review will start and those who will reduce plagiarism first then peer review of research article will start. Peer review of research article is are either accepted with minor or major revisions or rejected. If the article is accepted with minor or major revisions, the review comments are sent to the editor-in-chief. After that again proceed for revisions in which they get the revised version of manuscript. After revised version of manuscript, the second round review in which research article will be accepted or rejected. If the article is rejected then return to author otherwise accepted then proceed to editor-in-chief for final decision. If the editor-in-chief accepted the manuscript then then proceed to in-house publication process which means research article is published in respective journal and inform the authors through email. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper thanks for watching.